Hello and welcome to part three of my video tutorial on rigging procedural eyes using AutoRig Pro. So far in the previous videos, we imported the eyes, attached them to the character, then created the rig and the binding. Okay, now let's start creating some drivers. Now the idea on the driver is if we click on this uh, target here, that's the left target for the eye, click G, you'll see our whole eye actually rotates around because that's the way it's designed. Normally you'd have uh, a mesh in there, an eyeball mesh, and to rotate the eye, you're gonna rotate the geometry. But we don't want that here, so let's disable that. So we're gonna zoom in a bit. And there's a little tiny circle in there, and it's called the C underscore I dot L. So once we've selected that, look over here on the, on the right, and you'll see our constraint properties. Click on that and you'll see damped track. So we just wanna delete that and then go over to the right eye, select the same one, C underscore I dot R and delete that one as well. All right. So now we move the target, G, nothing's happening. So we're good. What we do want to do is see the eyeball move. So we need to create a driver from this target to the material properties of this eye. So I'm going to go ahead and go back up here to material preview. So we can see what we're doing a little bit. Now to create the driver, come over here to the bone properties. And we want to be able to use this location over here to drive the eyes, the data from this location. Now, I need a sip of water here. <clears throat> okay. So which one is moving? So if we click on this and go uh, G X, we see that this the Z field that's that's changing the most. Control. Uh, we we'll go alternate G to move that back. So we want to copy this, uh, this Z field, this tr Z transform field. We'll right click on it, and then copy as new driver. Then we'll go back to object mode, click on the, on the eye. We'll go to the material properties and back to where we have our eye rotations. And since it's left and right, which is this bottom one here, we'll right click and paste the driver, okay? Then we will uh, check it out, see how we did. Click on the armature, click on pose mode, highlight this target, then G. Okay, it's working, but it's going the wrong way. So to fix that, hit escape, we'll go back to uh, object mode, click on the eye, right click on the driver, edit driver, and we wanna change this from average value to scripted expression. Now we have a scripted expression of a location, and let's put a minus right in front of that. All right, so now we can go back, click object mode, pose mode, G, and now it's working, okay? Now we need to take care of the up and the down. So let's go back over here to our, our bone properties, and I'm gonna Move this G, Z, so up and down. So when I move that up, it's the Y location over here that's changing. And that's because this is moving in the Y or in the Z location, you know, in terms of our global uh, coordinates. But these are the bone coordinates for these, uh, uh, this, this being transformed. So it's the Y value here that will give us our up and down. I'll hit alternate G to move that back where it was. And so we will click, right click, copy as new driver for the Y. Go back to object mode, click on the I, click on the materials. And right here, we'll click on paste driver. Now you can see his eye looks a little brutal there. <laughs> That's because we, we need an offset by about 90 degrees. So I'm going to right click on there, 
edit driver, move from average value to script e expression, and it's going to be location, and we'll hit make it plus 1.57. And we might need to do a negative on this one as well. We'll find out, but with the 1.57, that's half of pi, which gives us our 90 degrees. Let's go back to our armature, back to pose mode, G, and yes, indeed, it's going the wrong direction. So we, like the horizontal, we're gonna to have to add a, a, a negative sign in front of that. Let's go back to object mode, click on the I, right click, edit driver, put a minus in front of that. All right. Now that should be working well. We click on that target, G, and it follows our target just like we want. Now part of the setup is this goggle looking thing. And that uh, it moves both eyes at the same time. So we want to add that to it and, and actually be a subtraction. But the idea is if we take this target and we move it this way. Then we take this target and we move it. This one should move in addition, uh, you know, it should move uh, the same amount in addition. So it might have been here originally. We moved it over here because this target moved over about that much. So we need to compensate for that on this side. And so to do that, we're just going to basically add another variable to our driver. Now we don't need to create a whole new driver. Let's go ahead and uh, highlight that and hit control or rather alternate G. Highlight that one, alternate G, put them back uh, at the zero state. We're going to click on our bone properties again, not the object properties. That won't work up there. Make sure it's the bone properties highlight our, our little goggles and I'm going to I'm going to uh, press G X and move that and just verify it is the Z values over there that are changing so I'm going to and I hit escape just to move it right back where it was right click and instead of copy as new driver I'm going to click on copy data path okay and then we'll paste that data path in as another variable and add it to the original uh, location or subtract it in, actual, in actuality. Now, when we do that, if you notice over here, we have location, uh, location variable, but we'll, we will need to point out which location variable. And that's done by zero, one, two, zero, one, two. And you'll see that in just a moment. Let's go back to uh, object mode, click on the eye, click on the materials, we were doing uh, left and right, so we'll right click on this, edit driver, and down here you see add input variable. We'll click on add input variable. Then down here, click in that box, press R and find rig. Click in this little box, control V. Now you see the location here, but we need to tell it which location, which, which uh, is it the X, Y, or Z. So we'll use a bracket, the number two, which corresponds to that Z, close bracket. Now this is called variable. We have location. And so what we want to do is subtract that from location, minus var. Now we've added these two together in essence because it's a minus here, a minus and a minus. And let's check it out. So if we go back to our uh, armature, click pose mode, click the goggles, G, and it's moving. All right, so it moves with the goggles and it moves without the goggles if I hit G. Let's uh, put them back to their uh, alternate G to put them back to the place. Now we just need to do the same thing for up and down. So if I go G, Z, it doesn't move. But if we click on our bone properties, we say again, it's the Y value that's changing. Alternate G to bring that back down. So 
So I will again click copy data path, go to object mode, click on the eye, click on the material, and this time we're going to the, um, to the top value, which will be the looking up and down, because it's the X value and it rotates around the X axis to look up and down. Click edit driver, add input variable, and similar to what we did before, click in that box, type R for rig, click in this box, control V to paste that uh, data location that we just uh, copied, and then hit open uh, bracket, and this will be in position one, and then close bracket, because remember it goes zero, one, two. Zero, one, two. Okay, now we need to subtract that from up top. So minus var. Might be a plus, we'll find out. Back to our goggles. Pose mode. G, C. Okay, so we have our pluses and minus correct. So it moves up and down. Escape. G independent, escape, G moves together. Voila, so we're done with that eye. So now we want to move that to the other eye or, or copy the drivers over. We can either do the exact same thing uh, one at a time, but a faster way is if we go to back to object mode, we can click on this eye and on the rotation, right click, copy driver, Click on this eye, paste driver, and then what we want to do is edit this driver, and then down here where it says target.l, we change that to target.r. There isn't an, a left and right here, so we don't have to worry about this bottom one, just uh, this top one. Okay. Now we click on the left eye and something similar, right click, copy driver, click over here on the right side, paste driver, and then edit driver, and again, click on here, find where it says target.l, change it to target.r. Okay. Now on this one, we'll probably have to change the, uh, the polarity here, make it from a, a, a minus to uh, just a one, but we'll test that out just to make sure. So I want to get you used to sort of um, troubleshooting your problems when, you, when they come up. So we we'll click on the armature, click on the pose mode, click on the, the right target, G, and then sure enough, we move to the left, that goes to the right, so we need to fix that. So we'll go back to object mode, click on the uh, right eye, and then it's, the up and down was fine, so it's this uh, left and right, so we'll click on edit driver, and up here instead of minus location, we'll do just get rid of the minus sign, make that a, a plus location, and double check again, back to the armature, Pose mode, click on the right target, G, and that's working fine. Click on the goggles, G, and that works fine. Perfect, there we go. In the next and final video, we will continue by creating drivers for the geometry node eyelids, which is a little easier than the eyeballs we just did. It's a similar process, but a little simpler because we only have a single variable for each driver. And then we'll finish the project with some parenting. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.